Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So today's video is a requested video and it's to learn how to put a clay face on a vase. And so I decided to do a boho face and a more like modern type of looking face. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay guys, so for our first vase, I'm going to be using this one right here and it's like your basic round vase. Anyways, I'm going to start out by rolling out my clay. I'm going to place my vase on the clay and cover it completely. And I'm doing this because in order to add a face on the vase, we need the clay to stick to something. And if I were just to put the clay face on the glass, it wouldn't stick. It would like slide off. I don't like to cover the bottom of my vases with clay, so I'm just gonna take off that extra clay from down there. And then I'm also gonna take off the extra clay from the top. Here, I had a little bit too much of a clay overlap, so I'm gonna take a little bit off, and then using my modeling tool, I'm gonna blend everything in together. Using a little bit of water, I'm going to smooth everything out with my fingers. And then I'm going to make sure to make the bottom a little bit neater. Okay, so my vase is ready for the face. I'm going to roll out a big coil for the face and then I'm going to flatten it out. And it was a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to trim off a little bit using my needle tool. Now I'm going to place it on my vase, and this is going to be like part of the nose and like eyebrow area-ish. It was a little bit longer than I needed it, so I'm going to trim off a little bit off of the end. Here I'm adding a little bit of slip to the clay to make sure that it sticks better. And this vase is inspired by one that I saw on Pinterest. Once I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally need something like that. Once again, I'm using my modeling tool to blend this piece into the vase. I'm rolling out some more clay and now I'm going to cut out the eye and I like my eyes to be almond shaped. And then I'm going to make a little circle in my hand for the pupil. Now I'm going to make the mouth for the vase and then just make sure to shape the lips however you want them to look. Again, I'm adding some slip on the vase and then I'm going to attach the lips. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. So now I'm going to let this dry for a couple of days. A few moments later. Here's the vase dry and I'm going to very lightly sand it. It doesn't need too much sanding. And then I'm going to paint. And then you can go ahead and seal, but I decided not to seal. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so for our second base, I'm going to be using this one right here that I got from Dollar Tree. And then for this base, I thought that I'd teach you guys how to do a more modern style face on a vase. Personally, I prefer a more bohemian face, but this style is pretty easy to do. So once again, start out by covering your entire vase with clay. And for this one, I'm just doing little bits at a time. And I'm not worried about making this completely perfect right now because I can smooth everything out with some water once this is all covered up. You should end up having something that looks like this and then apparently I smoothed it out with some water off camera because I can't find the clips. Moving on, I'm rolling out a coil for the nose and then right here I'm pinching it to kind of make it look like a triangle. You guys can kind of see it right here and then I'm going to attach it to my vase. I thought the nose was a little bit too long, so I'm taking off a little bit with my scraper tool. I rolled out another coil and I'm attaching this to be like, I guess the eyes of the vase. And then taking my modeling tool, I'm going to blend that in. Also, don't forget to use some water and your fingers just to blend everything out a little bit better. Then I decided to take off a little bit of the clay by the bridge of the nose. Lastly, I rolled out another coil for the mouth. And then do any last minute adjustments if you need to, and then let this guy dry for about two days. 12 seconds later. Okay guys, so here's my vase dry, and for some reason it's giving me like Emotep vibes. Anyways, I'm going to start sanding and then I'm going to paint. Don't forget to seal and I didn't because I wanted to keep this super matte. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!